we're going back to the 1970s, we're seeing a repeat of that stagflation story. But the thing that was different with the early 70s was that that was kind of the birth of the US dollar or the petrodollar system, where there was this kind of agreement that the US would be the world's policeman as long as oil was traded in US dollars. That created a demand for dollars, which meant that there was always a demand for U.S. treasuries, which was a form of borrowing. So in this way, it was like the U.S. sucks up the value from all over the globe through the dollar system that they dominate the world with. And what what I read recently on an ex post by a fellow by the name of Craig Shapiro, and I'm paraphrasing here, he believes that there's a shift in stance on the oil trade to support transactions in non-U.S. dollar currencies, which is kind of the opposite of what we would have seen in the early 70s when it would have been, I can't remember his name, doing deals with the Saudis to do that petrodollar thing. Uh, Gold is a neutral settlement asset. The aim is to reduce U.S. Treasury sales, get the dollar weaker, lower interest rates. Side effect, less need for war. Not implying, of course, that the U.S. causes wars all over the world to protect their hegemony. 